listen, when the brother has said that Africans sold us to the white man, right? You look kind of confused, and I was confused too, right? You're not? Okay, so good. I want to show you that that is in the Bible. We are not Africans. In the, even in Africa right now, you go there and you have different tribes, right? And you have a tribe called Nilotes, right? Those are that meaning pure bloods. Those pure bloods are pure-blooded Egyptians is what that's referring to. The Nilotic, you can Google it on your phone, the Nilotic tribes are referring to those same Egyptians that sold us as, or that had us as slaves in the time when Moses came into Egypt to get us up out of there. Watch this. The book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. But a lot of our people walking around thinking that they Egyptians, thinking that they Africans. You might know, sister, but most of our people wear the ankh on their neck. They do all the things and customs and beliefs that the Egyptians do, thinking that that's where we come from. That's not where we come from. You are greater than those people. Those people had you in chains, just like the white man had you in chains. But long before, long before, your yeah, history is rich. You have a long, long, rich history. And we just got to learn it. And these are the things that's been hidden and kept from us. Like if I ask you, what's one thing you learned about the Bible? What's the first thing you learned about the Bible? Keep it real. Okay. Yeah. Don't eat from the tree of... Yeah. Don't eat from the tree of... Uh, don't, right? So what about why not to listen to the Bible? Who used the Bible to destroy us, sis? Who used the Bible to destroy us, bro? The white man. How did he do that? Watch this. Go to Colossians. I'm going to show you something. Just to expand our minds a little bit. To open our mind and show us this is our book. Was it used as a device, as a weapon against us? Absolutely. Absolutely. No different than it is right now. But you know how? Because we don't read. The black man, woman don't like to read. So we don't know what else is in there. Watch this. The slaves obey your masters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The book of Colossians, chapter 3 and verse 22. Come on. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh. Now, this is what we was taught about the Bible. And then they say, this is what the white man used against you in slavery. And they leave it there. Watch this. Not with eye service as men pleasers. It's so it's the Bible true indeed says obey your masters, right? Shouldn't nobody have masters. Who work here? Who got a job? You got a job, you got a job, you got a job. So I see you coming from work, right? Perhaps, right? Another word for boss is what? Supervisor. supervisor. Another word for supervisor is what? Master. That's another word. But that word has become sensitive to us because we've been in a slavery. We were slaves. The movie, the TV, it teaches us that we were beaten by somebody called master. But in those same movies, you hear him call, hey boss. He called the boss. What do we call our leaders today, or our boss uh, 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 at work today? Boss. boss, that's what we call them. So it's the same thing. What am I doing? I'm just expounding your mind as it pertains to this book belonging to us. And it's more to it than just slavery. I mean, it's more to it than just what we were taught as slaves. Watch this. But in singleness of heart, fearing God. But in singleness of heart, fearing who? Fearing God. Watch this. And whatsoever ye do, do it. Heartily, it says, and whatsoever you do, do it heartily. So that means to who? Both the servant and his master. Both the servant and his master. Watch this. As to the Lord. As to who? The Lord. Read. And not unto men. And not unto men. And not unto men. Read on. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. So knowing you shall receive the reward of the inheritance. Who was the reward of the inheritance for? The brother just went over this for you. It's for the nation of Israel. It's for the nation of Israel. So what is this referring to? This is referring to a long, long, long ago history. The laws that God set up for us was that we work for one another. But we sin, we start hating each other, we start killing each other. Sort of how you see our people, they don't want to stand and talk to their brother. It ain't so much about the Bible, because right. everybody go and sit and listen to a lying pastor in church. Right. But what our people know more than anything is how to hate each other. Yeah. So when you see brothers, when you see brothers teaching the Bible, you see brothers standing on the corner, not shooting nobody, not selling no dope, not talking about, hey, come here, honey, not talking about, like, you got a fat ass, not talking the, the, how Negroes talk. Right. That in itself is an offense, right. and our people just walk on by. 
Yes, sir. Out of all the races, why have we had to suffer from this? Like, I know that we are the chosen people. Yeah. And I know that if you do something bad, yeah. you know, you have to suffer the consequences. But why, as black people or as Israelites, I got you. why did we have to suffer? Excellent question. Amos chapter 3. You know? Amos chapter 3. Excellent question. I had the same question, bro. I'm like, yo, I get it. You know, we've done wrong. But everybody has done wrong. Everybody that says people, it's, it's people of other nations doing way worse than us. Watch this. You're right, but it's, 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 I want you to, I want you to critically think and understand that question. Watch this. It is. Watch this. The book of Amos, chapter three and verse one. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. You only have I known. So he says, you only have I known. You. So there's many, like you said, why are we the only race that went through what would suffer the way we suffer? Still to this day oppressed the way we oppressed. Why? Just why us? Because we the children of God. Our father's whooping our behind. You understand? He ain't going up the street dealing with the neighbor's kids. He dealing with his own. Watch this. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you. He says, therefore, I'm going to punish you. I'm dealing with you. You my responsibility. You my child. So I'm going to whoop your behind. I'm going to tell I'm going to get you together. That's what he's saying. Read. For all your iniquities. For all your evil. For all your sins. Give me Sirach chapter 31. Sirach oh. chapter 31. Then we then, then I want then I want y'all to understand something, right? God is our father. And if you love your child, what you gonna do when he act up? You're gonna discipline him, you're gonna punish him, you're gonna get his hind parts together. You're gonna make sure he understands why. Is it to destroy him? No. Just to teach him a lesson. It's to teach him a lesson. It's to teach him get him righteous. To get to teach him to be righteous. Right. Teach him to do what ain't gonna get him killed later. Watch this. Okay. Verse one. The book of Sirach, chapter 31 and I'm verse... sorry, 30. I'm sorry. Yes, 30. sir. Chapter 30 and verse 1. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to fill the rod. Read it again. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to fill the rod. Now, I went here because this in itself is a new concept to a black man. Because the black woman and the black man don't marry each other. Therefore, who's raising the child alone? The woman. The woman. And she can't raise no son. Right. She can't make no son. Only thing a black woman can create usually is another demon that's going to be out here robbing, stealing, overly emotional, putting his brother to death. Right. That's what a black woman creates. Why? Because the black man is not there rearing the child with that other side of, of nurturing that a boy needs to grow up to be a strong black man. This is what we don't understand in our community. This entire dynamic or concept of fatherhood, right. we don't understand. But watch this, read it again. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to fill the rod. So black man, how you gonna cause your son to be disciplined thoroughly? Thoroughly. If you have not married the woman that you laid down with to make the son, to be in his life, to teach the woman, don't deal with my son like that. You're gonna make him emotional. Matter of fact, when he do this, you bring him to me. You don't say nothing to him. Who gonna teach him that? If we can't learn to marry the black woman, hold that. Go to Sirach. I mean, go to um, uh, Hebrews 13. This is an issue in our family, and this is an issue in our households. Mo everybody here, no. If you black, you know what I'm talking about. Ain't no black. It is out of every nine out of ten black people was raised in a single parent household. A single parent household. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse four. Marriage. It's honorable in all. What did God say? Marriage is honorable in all. This is how God is moving. That's why when we read in the scripture, a man that loveth his son calls him off to fill the rod. That's correction. That required, that's, that's talking about you raising your son. Not your, not your wife or your baby mama raising your son. You raising your son. And you raising your son with the woman. Because she got a part to play too. She got to do, when you out working, when you out busy, she got to do what you taught the boy. She got to reinforce what you taught the boy while you going. So the woman has a part two. She got to guide the house too, and the scriptures talk about that. But this is a concept that the black man don't know. This is a foreign concept to, to our people. 
marrying the woman you lay down with. Or guess what? Don't lay down with her. Have some self-worth and dignity. If she ain't SH, then what is you for laying down with her? You ain't SH either. You a king, so why you lay down with something that's not worthy of a king? These are the lies and stuff we tell ourselves. We got to come up. We got to do better. We got to do better, black man. Come on, read it again. Marriage is honorable and all. Y'all say marriage, not baby mama, not boyfriend, girlfriend, not wifey. No, 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 no. Wife, husband. Marriage is honorable and all. Marriage is honorable and all. Come on. And the bed undefiled. And that bed of that married husband and wife is undefiled. So whatever they do in their bed, the, 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 hey, that's clean. The Lord is celebrating with you. The Lord is proud of you. Your father in heaven is proud of your marriage and your, the, 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 the pleasure that comes with, with sleeping with your wife and your wife sleeping with you. That bed is undefiled. Come on. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. He said, but the whoremonger and adulterers, God will judge. Notice he didn't say baby mamas. Notice he didn't say, well, you know, except, you know, it, it just didn't work out. She was like, she wasn't the one. No, 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 no. He said whoremongers and adulterers. Meaning anybody that's laying down with somebody that ain't their husband, ain't their wife, is a whoremonger and adulterer. That's right. Ain't no confusion. These are simple things that our communities just don't have. Simple, but foreign to us. Go back to where we was. We got to understand that first because to raise a child, to be able to correct your son oft, that he grew up correctly, you have to be in his life. You have to be in his life. And you can't be teaching him the lesson of, of, of staying with a woman or laying down with a woman that's worthy of you if you ain't do that with his mama. You can't teach that lesson. Watch this, read. The book of Sirach, chapter 30 and verse 1. He that loveth his son causeth him oft to fill the rod, that he may have joy of him in the end. So that you can be proud of that young man when he grow up, a better man than you was. Because that's how generations, that's how you, we want to look, we look at the other races, right? And we say, they doing so much better than us, right? They have generational wealth. They have generational organization. They have generational structure, right? Meaning the son, has picked up where his father left off and carried it even further. Now he's even greater than his father was. That's the divine order. That's how things are supposed to be. That's how God wants us to be. Read on. He that chastiseth his son, he that corrects his son, come on, shall have joy in him. Shall have joy if it shall enjoy him. Go and see him go through school. Go and see him obey his faith. Yes, sir. Right. No, sir. And when he do wrong, I'm sorry I won't do it again, Dad. Yeah, I messed up. Not nigga, don't put, put another hand on me if you want to. That's what kids is doing to their yeah, parents yeah, nowadays. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Kids is killing their parents nowadays. Right. Yeah, you're right. But this is what's, this is what's lacking. The parents fault. Say it again. The parents fault, you're right. It is the parents' fault. But guess what? Guess what, Pops? When it's going to stop? When it's going to stop? That's a good question. Huh? That's a good question. That's a good That's, question. Yeah, you want the answer? When we stop it. Because guess what? You know what we do? Go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 7. Go to 2 Thessalonians 1 and 7. You know what we do? We have a big task, right? Because we so messed up. We so oppressed from all the, the generations of destruction that we suffered. Our children ain't being raised right now. They out here monsters in the streets. How are we going to get them together, right? We can do it together. First, give me Zephaniah 2 and 1. Yes, we can do it together. That's a very good question. Right. 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 Say it again, I can't hear We still talking about the past instead of the future. Right, right now, the past is done. You can't just forget the past. Not so, yeah, you're right. We can't do nothing with it. Yeah, but but the past will tell us what we got to do with the future. If they listen to it. If they got any concept of that. So, 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 right, so what do we got to do? You got to be first, be first, be your wife. Like you said, your wife. Or, or spouse. Right. You see? But now, who's the, the spouse? Who's the spouse? Who, who is the spouse? Who's the spouse? The woman with so woman, 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 man, woman. Uh -huh. you see? Everybody in the house, they don't care about the parents. Yeah. You see? You got, you got a grandma, you got a grandma, you got a grandma, you got a grandma now. Right. You got to see. You got the goodness of God. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yes. No, no, no. No. 
and wisdom besides talking about, uh, I can't quote it, but it's talking about why we have a, why we lay down and, and hopes to have, it's either an Ezra or a wisdom inside. I have a good scene. Yeah. Watch this. What, where we at? Watch this. So first of all, yes, that's a big daunting task, right? To get these communities in order, to get these young men in order, right? To get these monsters in order that, 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 that destroys or continues to destroy our communities. They the ones robbing you. We complain about the white man all the time, right? But you ain't looking over your shoulder about no white man. You're looking over your shoulder about your own people. Watch this. Watch this. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. So we got to come together. All us brothers, easy. This, yeah, 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 look, 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 look. You see how you right here? You see how you right here? All it takes is the determination. For one person to come up. No, no, no. For all of us, just like you said, we all in agreement that the communities need to change, right? You, you, you understand what I'm saying? All it takes. It's for us to come together and have the determination to change. Yeah, That's what the Bible says. Yeah, I know, I know. God is with us on that. Yeah, watch know. this. Get, what, listen, just listen. Watch this. Gather yourselves together. Come on. Yay! Gather together. O nation, not desire. Nobody desires us. Nobody. We is. We are the one nation that no nation desires. No matter where you go on this earth, no matter where you travel to on this earth, there is this thing called a ghetto. And guess who's in it? People that look just like you, yeah. people that look just like me. We in the right. We are that nation. So he says we got to gather together. But watch this. Before, before, not after, not during. Before the decree bring forth. What decree? Before he say come together, gather together, yo, yeah, gather together, uh, O nation, not desire. Right. Before the decree break forth. What's the decree? Watch this. Before the day pass. As the chaff. Before the day pass, as the chaff. You know what the chaff is? Destruction. Destruction before the day pass. Hold that. No, you can drop that. Go to 2 Peter 3. Go ahead, read that. And then get 2 Peter 3. Before the fierce anger of the Lord. Come before on. the fierce anger of the Lord. Why is he mad? Remember, he said. Huh? Nobody for me. Then he angered with you. My brother's paying attention. He's angry with us. So what we got to do to get, when you angry with your son, what that mean? You got to discipline. Why you discipline him? You want him to be right. But this right here, this is talking about those that just ain't going to get right. That's what this is talking about. Because a lot of times we read this and we going over the solutions with our people. They don't want to hear it. You know what that mean though? That mean, oh, that mean I got to get myself together. I ain't with that. I want to stay evil. I want to stay sinning. I want to stay destroyed. But I want y'all to get a, get the communities together. Yeah. I'm just not, I don't want to help you. I don't because I, I mean I gotta get myself together. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.